All right, this is geometry, section 1-6, basic constructions. Um, the learning objective is to make basic constructions using a straight edge and a compass. So make sure you have a straight edge and a compass available because to meet the learning objective, you gotta have these items on there. Um, you can use special geometry tools to make a figure that is congruent to an official, original figure. Um, and it's more accurate than sketching and drawing. So I'm going to talk about straight edges. If I ask you to use a straight edge, this is what I this is what I mean. It's a ruler with no markings on it. I will also be okay with just a ruler. A compass is a geometric tool it's used to draw circles and parts of circles it's called arcs. And a construction is a geometric figure drawn using a straight edge and compass. If you want to, you can pause this recording so you can write all those definitions down. All right, so we're going to look at problem one, constructing congruent segments. So to construct a congruent segment, you start out with a segment. If you don't already have one, you just put one on your paper. Um, so we want CD to be congruent to AB. So we draw, we pick a point C, and we draw with a straight edge, just a line of random length. Open the compass so that the pointy part is on A and the pencil part is on B. And then put the pointy part on C and draw a little arc that goes through your line. And then mark it D. And then CD is congruent to AB. All right, so let's do the Scott it together. All right, so we're going to use a straight edge to draw XY and then construct RS so that RS is double XY. So let's grab a pen. So let's go. Let's make this x, y, and then we want to construct r, s. Come back over here. Let's go back. Rotate it. So we want to construct RS so that it's twice XY. So rule number one is we need to draw a line. So I'm going to draw just a random line. And label it R. Then I'm going to take on my compass. Open it up to Y. Draw an arc. Then I'm going to move my compass and draw another arc. So now I've got R S is twice dimension of xy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is construct perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect to make a right angle. Um, the upside down t symbol means perpendicular to. So if you look at the diagram, um, AB is perpendicular to CD. A uh, perpendicular bisector, we talked about bisectors, it cuts it in half, but it's also 
perpendicular. So it cuts it in half and makes a 90 degree angle. Boop. All right, so let's look at how to construct a congruent angle and then um, apply that and practice it. Okay, so to construct an angle that's congruent to a given angle, we have angle A, so this angle is already there. We want to make angle S, so we draw a ray, label the endpoint S. We take our compass and draw an arc across our angle A, and that's going to be BC. We take the same compass, don't change the setting at all, and draw that same arc across our S ray. Then we open the compass from C to B. We bring it over to our S ray and we make an arc from R to across the first arc we made. And we draw a nice straight line through that T value. And then you see this S angle is equal to the A angle. All right, so let's try it here. We are going to construct F so that the measure of angle F is twice the measure of angle B. And let me get a compass and a straight edge. And as I learned before, they end up at the top of the page. Okay, so I'm going to make an arc mark. So first I'm going to make, um, uh, oops, that is not, <laughs> that's a highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to make a line and I'll label it. Okay, then I want two B's. So I'm going to make um, the first instruction say, make a mark, make an arc. So make your line and then make an arc on your original line. So I'm going to put that up the corner. Open this up a little bit. Make a nice arc. Next, we're going to take that compass, put it over on our new line, and make an arc. Boop. Boop. I'm going to make it real wide because I want to double my angle. Alright, so then I'm going to go to my original. Uh, I want to switch that. I'm going to go to my original angle. And... Uh, I want it to move. Yep, yep, go back. Now wrestle this. <laughs> All right, so we move this. So I have it measured from my arc distance, so I'm going to move this over here and make an arc, and I'm going to pick it up, put it down here, and make an arc here. So then... We're going to draw a straight line not straight from F on out. Oop. So now this is equal to two angle B's. 
Well, that's fun. Let's do some more of that. Let's construct a perpendicular bisector, which happens to be my favorite thing to do. So we start with our line and um, we open up our compass to more than halfway across the line to make an arc. We put it on B and make a counter arc. And then we draw a line where it crosses, the two arcs cross, and that's the perpendicular bisector. So we're going to do that ourselves. We're going to draw ST and construct its perpendicular bisector. So, all right, so I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to call it ST. All right, so to make a perpendicular bisector, I'm going to grab my compass, put it on S, open her up to more than halfway, and make an arc. And we're going to put it here. Not moving the, um, not changing the width at all, and make an arc. And then where those two arcs intersect, we draw a line. And that's our perpendicular bisector. Da -da -da -da. Easy. All right, angle bisector. It is, you have your angle, you draw your arc, you take um, your compass and put it on the bottom point and draw an arc, not changing the width of your compass. Put it on B and draw an arc, and then draw a line from your vertex through where your two arcs cross. That's it. Okay, so let's practice that. So angle X, Y, Z. So we are going to, it has to be obtuse, so it'll be fun. Bam. Nice, obtuse angle. Uh, it needs to be X, Y, Z, so let's label it. Okay, and construct its bisector. So we are going to, we follow the directions, we're going to make an arc. Let me grab our compass. So let's open her up and make our arc. Then we're going to go to point the point at the bottom and make another arc. I'm going to open it back up. Then I'm going to go to the point at the top. It has to be the same distance. Okay. I want it back. And make an arc so it crosses your first one. Uh, 
then using your serrated edge. You draw a line through your vertex and where your arcs cross. And then that's your angle bisector. Da -da -da -da. That's it.